Hello everyone, my name is Deepika and in this video I am going to talk about Null Indicator Bitmap column in MDM. Firstly, we will walk through what is NIP, which is a Null Indicator Bitmap. NIP, NIP is a short abbreviation of the column Null Indicator Bitmap. What is the use of it? What does the bit settings in NIP column represent? And what are the issue faced because of the NIP column and how to fix it? Lastly, I will show you the demo. NIP column exists in all the cross reference, which we call as the XREF tables, and it comes came into existence post 901. It is a bitmap which indicates a null value in column, which means it tells whether the column has a null value or not. If the corresponding column has a zero in the NIP column, it means the value is not null. If it is one, it means the value represented is null. Each bit position in the column represents a specific column. And the position of the bit has been decided by the null indicator sequence column in C reports column table. The bits for the system column are always populated as zero as they are never truly nulls. Let me walk you through what are the bit settings. One important point which you should note is that the NIP value for a corresponding column will only be calculated when it is mapped in the stage table. You should bear in the mind there is a difference between the passing value null to a column and not at all passing the value to a column. Not at all passing a value means this value or this column has not been uh, provided by the flow system. And passing null value means the column has been provided by the flow system, but the value, incoming value which is coming is null. It makes a huge difference while making a recalculate validity for that column. So if you have not mapped the uh, column in the stage table, the NIP corresponding NIP bit will not be calculated. It will be by default marked as a zero. We have the column mapped in the stage table and it has a allow null update checkbox enabled then and we are not providing a null value then it means it is a zero value and if we are providing a null value then it means it's a one value one represents the null value so likewise if you are doing a, making a sift put call from external system or you're using a data manager from the idd if we are if we are providing a column, making a put call and we are uh, pa passing the value as a null, then the value will be, NIP will be calculated and it will be 1 or 0 based on the value if we are passing null or not. But if we are not at all passing the column in the put call, by default it will be 0. Which means MDM will con consider this value itself is not coming as an incoming value. So we don't know it's null or not null. So, it will be always be zero. Let me talk about what are the issues you can face because of NIP column, null indicator bitmap column, and how to fix it. What is the use of N null bitmap indicator column? It plays a major role while calculating the BBT for the column and deciding the winning X. While calculating the BBT, MDN needs to know whether a column has a null value as opposed to when a column value are not provided. Here there is a major difference. I am talking about column has a null value, which means the column has been the, um, mapped or column has been provided by the source system, but the value which are coming as a null, as opposed to when the column value are not provided, means the source system is not providing the value at all. This, this column does not exist in the source system. On the technical front, if you carry the table, you will see as a null value in both the cases. But on the functional front, both are two different things. And we have to keep in mind while calculating the BBT, whether the column value has been provided or not, or the column value has been provided, but the value is null. So basically, NAP will make a difference when the column value has been provided, it has a null. If the NIP bits are not correctly set, means the null value is there and it, it marks as a zero, or the NIP length, and when I see NIP length, length of the null indicator bitmap column, the number of the zeros that it represent is not appropriate, then the PVT calculation can go wrong. 
when I say PVT calculation problem means the actual value which you win will not survive as compared to the uh, and the wrong value can survive. For example, if you have the allow null update uh, checked for a source system and the null has the highest trust over the not null column, but still you will see the not null value winning. It's not correct. And one of the culprit could be the NIP column. Because internally, MDM will look into this column to, to decide whether the column value is null or not. Autom the back column of this value will be automatically calculated by MDM during load job or the put job. But, sorry, put call. And the customer need not to explicitly, explicitly provide any uh, value for this column. They need not to actually worry about this column. This is a kind of a system, system column. But you should bear in the mind that the NIP column length for the existing records will not be automatically recalculated when you are adding a new column to the existing view. For example, you have the 10 columns and the NIP has a 10 length. The length of the Z number of zero column is the 10 and you added a two more column to the base object and already there are some records in the base object. Those records NIP column will remain 10 which is incorrect which can lead to a number of issues uh, while you're running a low job or the put call and the correct value will not be winning if you have not fixed the length of the NIP column. So the length or the number of the bit which NIP column represents should be equal to the number of the columns that Excel table has. If it is not, then it is an issue. Currently, MDM does not uh, reset the NIP column length for the existing record when you add the new column to the base object how you can do that so i will tell you in the demo how you can do that we have to fix the nip column length after adding the new column to the existing base object in case the records exist for this base object so uh, one of the way to recalculate the nip column is to run the force update load job so if you run the load job with the force update the corresponding bitmap value will be recalculated but please note that it will not increase the length of NIP. If you add the new column and you run the load job, it will not increase. If you recalculate the existing, uh, for the existing column, it will recalculate the NIP value. In order to fix the NIP column length value for the existing record, you refer to the KB article 299589. It, in, it contains a script which you can utilize to increase the length of NIP column to the appropriate value. It includes the instruction on how to execute it. I will execute it in the demo as well. This is a custom script that we are providing. Please bear in mind this is a custom script and you should test it in the non-prod environment before using it in the production. Now I will walk you through the demo. In this demo, I'm using the MDM sample as a reference. I have already created a sample base object test NIP and I added a few column and populated it with some records for the demo purpose. So what I did is I have added a new column called four after running the load job on this and after loading few of the records. I logged into this database. I carried this table. Except table, I have I already added a few records in the sample base object. I can see there are the two records. And the call one, call two, call three are the columns. Now I have added a new column, call four. What will happen to the NIP, which is the column which I am talking about, null bitmap indicator. So you can see it is a string of the zeros and one. Each string represents each column, which will be decided by the null indicator bitmap, uh, which will be decided by the null indicator sequence column in the C report column table. So now, if I carry this table, I can see there are total of 25 columns, including system and the user defined column, there are total of 25 columns, which the null indicator sequence has to be calculated. So if I take the length of both the records, I'm seeing it as a 24. Why? Because I, I added a new column called 4 in the base object. But 
I have not uh, done the load blow. I have not done anything. As I told you before, by default, it will not add the column itself. Means the null bit will not be added for the new column. For that, we have the script to do that. I logged into the database. I have this script. We should, you can find this in the KB article. You can download this script from the KB article. I'm running it. First parameter is asking for the XREF table name. Second parameter is asking for the row ID source system. We can run the this script uh, source system by source system, or we can run it for uh, at a time. All all for for all source system at a time. For that, you need to provide the parameter as all, or by default it is all, even if you can keep it as blank. Enter value for the input alone in the commit indicator, which means you want the commit to happen inside the script, or you want to explicitly commit it. Passing it wrong. Now, a commit has already been done. If I check the length of the null indicator bitmap column, it has been increased. It has been increased to the value. Whatever is, it is desired means whatever the number of the column null indicator sequence has. So you should make sure after adding a new column for to the existing BO, you run this script, which you can find it from the KB article, and uh, you check the value of the null indicator bitmap or all the sources. Instructions you can find it in the KV article itself. The value will be the length will be increased. One more thing which I would like to point out. I have the mapping created already for on this space object. In the mapping I have mapped the column call one call two and rest of the column I have put it it means for the column call 3, let's say for the column call 3, there is no value that has been provided by the source system. So it means it doesn't matter null or not null value. It is distinguished that this value itself is not mapped. There is no value. So it means NIP will not be calculated for this column and by default it will remain as a 0. So as you can see, for the existing records, if you uh, consider the second last bit, it is 0, 0. All through the column call 3, is, uh, you can see no value because the source system has not provided any value. This is column itself is not uh, mapped by the source system. So the NIP will not be calculated. It will be as a 0. But if you look in the column 2, the first one is providing the value and second one is not. And it means I have mapped the value. Column 2 is provided by the source system. But the value provided here will be null and the here it is not null. So if it is not null, the, the bit is 0 and if it is null, the bit is 1. Let us run for the few more records let, let, so that uh, we can be more sure on this. I'm done with the state job. Let me run the load job. Load job is run. Let's check in the database. There are two new records that has been added. Basically, I'm loading a new record. These two new records has been added. As you can see, call three we have not met. So it means the value is not at all given by the source system. So that it will always be zero. But the call two here, the value has been mapped, but we provided null. It means the null bit map indicator uh, is saying this value is null, which is one. And the call three called and the for the other column, it is providing the value. It has been met and so it is providing the value, which means it is zero. That is all related to NIP column. We will love to hear from you. You can write to us at support video at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com and